going back to coach Sahudo, you know, obviously you worked with, with John Jones already in the, the lead up to the Cyril Gan fight. Have you spoken to him since then? And would you be interested or have you even spoken to him about being involved when he does put his camp together for the Miocic fight? You know, we haven't talked. I mean, we just congratulated. I think he just, you know, he said thank you. But but not really, man. When things get closer, obviously, John's got a family, too. Mm. And John's, John's to himself quite a bit. He's not like, uh, like me and Demetrius are pretty close now. And I can honestly say that. You know, me and Demetrius Johnson, like, we're just chit-chatting. We, like, we'll, we'll text, like, every like every week now. Man, we'll kind of, he's a little closer with Michael Wan's over, but, uh, but we'll just text just random stuff, you know what I mean? Like just, you know, what do you think you man retire? What do you think of my fight? Just kind of try to what do you think about me not, you know, wanting to retire? What do you think of me going back? You know, what I mean? just just feeding from each other. But uh I feel like Jones is just a, Jones is it's, he's a little more to himself, man. I think from a lot of stuff that he's been through. Mm. And I respect that. You know, he, he just wants to be with his family. He's a, from what I know, I know he's a good family man. He's he's a, he's a good girl dad. And uh He's got too many kids on his plate to just hang out with people. But I will say this: I know when, I know typically when things get closer, he will reach out. He will reach out, and I think this fight, particularly with Stipe, you know, this is this is the toughest fight of his career. But honestly, like 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 just thinking about it, yes, yeah, Stipe may be a little bit older, but Stipe also has a heart of a of a lion, and to, to be able to stop a guy like uh, Daniel Cormier, it just shows what you're capable of doing. You know, so I just hope, you know, John knows if he ever needs help, I'll, I'll always be here for him. You know, I do believe that legends take care of legends and I uh, hope that legends could always repeat that in, amongst each other and do that because it's uh, it's important. Now we're a Sakuda club that should always look out for each other and particularly the UFC champions, the Olympic champs who have been there because it's super important for for us, the people who have been there. So you're able to give that helping hand. That's exactly what I told Daniel. I'm like, Daniel, you can't be mad at me, bro. I says, don't be mad at me, Daniel. Like, we got to take care of each other, bro. Whether you, you like him or you hate him or not, I just, I would do that for you in any day of the week. And I would do that for anybody, even my rivals in any day of the week as well. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Share this with your friends. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned. So jump along for the ride.